Hello, this is the instructor's introduction for photography history and time-based media. So um, let me, this is what I'm going to go over right now, the different main topics. There's one discussion post and a weekly quiz for this module. So of course you're going to want to read all of the text on each page. The answers to the quiz can be found either pretty much in any of the information included in the learning unit. So you'll want to review all the information before taking the quiz. Just got a three minute video from a larger video if you want to watch the whole thing. This just kind of introduces you to some basic information about photo history. I've included a timeline here. Um, it's got lots of great information about different important characters throughout the history of photography. And there's a lot of great information here for you to peruse through and pick a year and kind of learn a little bit about what photography was doing in that particular time frame. And then also some links to um, really great uh, consolidated information about the history of photography. There's a couple of required readings. Um, these are all on the Lumen website. So if you click on any of these links, it's going to take you outside of um, Canvas over to a different website where then you can peruse the readings. And the readings, um, there's, you know, shouldn't take you too long. They're all pretty short, um, but you'll want to review this, these readings as well before taking the quiz. There's three different lectures and the lectures are in PowerPoint. So if you don't have PowerPoint, um, I'll, there's a link that I'll introduce you to so you can download it. But if you do download the lectures, you'll be able to play them and hear um, my audio, my voice going over the information. But these are some of the required videos that I pulled out of those lectures. So these pages just indicate you know, the lecture is 14 minutes long. It's a PowerPoint, like I said, so you have to download it. And then these are some of the required um, really cool shorter videos that you might want to watch for the different artists that I'm introducing you to. And like I said, there's um, two parts about photo history and one part where I talk a little bit about time-based media, both from a historical standpoint and also from um, contemporary work that's being made. And then, like I said before, if you don't have PowerPoint, you can download it for free through this link. You can always ask me questions. There's also PDFs of the lectures for you to use as reference or for you even to read through if you're really struggling with the PowerPoint lectures. And then there's a featured artist. One of them is Dorothea Lang. She's really a fabulous photographer and one of the photographers that you can choose from for the this week's discussion post, along with a really great documentary that I encourage you to watch um, about her life's work and just some examples of her work. It's just a little collage that I found along with a couple of links if you want to learn more about her. Another featured artist that I pulled out is Anna Mai Lee. Uh, there's a five minute video um, to learn more about her and I think her work is really important and interesting for this learning unit. These are all of the different artists that you get to choose from for your uh, creative artist investigation and creation assignment this week. So there's 15 different artists and these just take you to links um, so you can learn more about the different artworks that they have created and that you could use as a source of inspiration. And I gave you a short description of the type of work that they make that might be helpful for you. This is examples. This is a short video. It's about two minutes long. And I show you some of the examples that previous students have made for the homework discussion post that's this week, uh, artist investigation and creation. This is just some really cool information about some of the changes within art photography, specifically to the way that we look at it through the lens of kind of art history and um, art criticism. So um, this is a short video that talks about a symposium that happened. And if you go to this link, you'll find um, more information about this discussion 
and basically um, they're just kind of referencing these five major points about the history of photography and where photography is going in the future, specifically through the lens of um, curators and art makers uh, connected to the San Francisco Museum of Art. It's a great, it's a great short video. I highly recommend it. Whole bunch of really helpful links for this week. And your first um, assignment, there's a video here where I go over all the requirements, so check that out. And then, of course, um, at the end of this week, you have a quiz as well. So that's the module for this week for the photo history. Keep me posted with any questions. Thanks for listening.